someone outside the door. The visit is directed by the one and only M. Night Shyamalan. And what this film follows is a bunch of ki two kids actually going in to the middle of nowhere. Of course, it's Pennsylvania because, you know, it's M. Night Shyamalan. And they go and visit their grandparents. And what they go to see there is a bunch of uncircum circumstances that leads to a really, really creepy material that I don't want to spoil because you have to see the movie and yeah. Okay, I don't want to spoil a lot of this movie because the trailers didn't really spoil a lot for this movie, which I'm really, really happy for, but all I'm going to say is that there's some creepy stuff, there's something up with these grandparents and the kids, it, well this is a found footage movie number one, so the kids had to investigate and basically find out what's going on. The daughter wants to be a aspiring filmmaker and documentarian, and the kid wants to be a rapper. First off, M. Night Shyamalan has had a really interesting career. You know, love him or hate him. He's had three really good movies. One movie that is completely split. Another movie that not a lot of people liked. And three movies, the last three movies have just been universally hated by everybody. I mean, everybody. I mean, wow. A lot of people were hating this guy for such a long time. And this guy, he actually inspired me to make films, like, all together. I saw Science when I was a kid. I must have rented that movie from Blockbuster back when we had Blockbusters. Like, so many times, if you go and, like, I don't know, talk to my mom or something like that, you can, tell, you can ask her how many times we rent, rent at Signs. We, he, she lost counts because I loved that movie so much and it meant so much to me. Same thing with The Sixth Sense and Unbreakable. Very underrated movie. And I loved his first three. Then, The Village happened. And, you know what? I enjoy it. I know a lot of people are split on it, but... I really enjoyed it. Lay in the Water, it's a mixed bag. It has some really good acting, but then The Happening. <laughs> oh, The Happening. <laughs> okay. The Happening. Let's get right into it. Uh, oh, yeah. I hear you whispering. Planning on stealing something? No, ma'am, we're not. Plan on murdering me in my sleep. What? No! Yeah, that was in that movie. Okay, let's just, uh... What? No! And then he made The Last Airbender. No words. I have nothing for that. He just made The Last Airbender. Okay. And then he made After Earth, which wasn't as bad as his last two, but yeah, still wasn't very good. <laughs> but now he's got this new film. This film is actually a really low budget movie. This movie only cost $5 million. He self-financed this movie himself. He actually went back to his roots, decided to do a found footage movie, and I heard a lot of early things that people walked out of this movie with smiles on their faces. And I am happy to say, this is a very good movie. I had a blast with this movie. This movie is entertaining throughout. First off, I had to get with the kid actors. The, these guys are really, really good. The daughter, really good. She looked like she was about 15 or something like that. Uh, she was fantastic. The kid, the, the little boy, oh my god, he was fantastic. He was hilarious. He was awesome. Those two kids are going places. That's all I'm going to say. And the grandparents are also really good, surprisingly. The, the gr grandma, especially. She was fantastic throughout this movie. And this movie, surprisingly, is really, really funny. I 
laughed so many times in this movie, especially from the little brother. I, I thought he, I thought he did a fantastic job. I thought the comedy was really good. And a critic said this: "We're not actually laughing at Shyamalan like something like The Happening, where you're laughing at him. You know." This is something where you're laughing with him. And I think he knows that, and I think the audience will know that once they see this movie. Because this movie is a, real, is a good movie. It's not, it's not his best movie. It's, it really isn't. But I will say it's his best movie probably since The Village. It's probably his best movie in the last, well, ten years since that's when The Village came out. And I think this is a really good return to form for him. Guys, I am so happy. All I wanted for him was to make a good movie again. I will literally root for the guy because that's how much he inspired me as a young filmmaker. And I think the guy had t has still has talent and you can clearly see that. And I think he did such a fantastic job with this movie. All around guys, I really enjoyed this movie. Is it perfect? No. It's not a perfect movie. There are a couple flaws with the narrative storyline at times. And I will admit that it's not as creepy as I thought it would be. But all around, guys, I really enjoyed this movie. And I think everybody should go see this movie. I think if you want to support Shyamalan, I think you should go see this movie. So all around, guys, I had a blast with this movie. really enjoyed myself, and that's why I'm going to give The Visit a B+. Would you mind getting inside the oven to clean it? So guys, tell me, you know, if you have seen this movie, if you haven't seen this movie, please go see this movie. It's actually pretty good. <laughs> it's actually good. And if you have seen this movie, let me know in the comments what you thought about it. And also, tell me, what is your favorite and least favorite M. Night Shyamalan movie? Please, let me know in the comments. I think the guy still has talent, and, you can, and if you watch this movie, you can clearly see it. I was so happy. I'm just so happy because I'm glad he made a good movie for once. Thank you, Shyamalan. Thank you. And until the next time, guys, I'll see you then. What? No.